Anna? Anna, I just want to talk. Go away. Talk to me and I'll go away. It won't take long. Look, I know Teresa sent you. Fuck her and fuck you. About time Sophie threw into the woman her mother was. Just go away. Can we please talk? I'd like to help. Help what? Remind me of my poverty? My drinking problem? Or that I'm a heinous flower thief? I'm not making assumptions. I just want to hear your story. I want to hear the truth. The truth? You want the truth? Here's the truth. I would never rob a friend. Never. And that's the end of my story. Did Teresa tell you about the half year's wages she owes me? I needed Teresa to sell that flower so she could pay me. Why would I risk everything? My well-being, Teresa, and her sons, by stealing it. She'd mentioned you were storing the flower. I figured it was the best way to keep watch over it and make sure I got paid. So we put it in my shed near the tower. I went to check on it this morning and nothing, all gone. You didn't see anyone lurking nearby or anything suspicious? You don't think I would have mentioned that by now? I can only tell you that I did not steal that flower. I wouldn't do that to Teresa or to myself. The only strange thing was that nothing else was stolen. My buckwheat, my beets, untouched. Whoever it was only wanted the flower. Interesting. Mind if I go check out the shed? Maybe it just needs to be looked at with a fresh pair of eyes. Knock yourself out. Help us end this madness, please. They had keys. Nothing's broken. Someone was very familiar with this place. And footprints. One set of shoes. Thief worked alone. The rest of the supplies are untouched. They knew exactly what they were looking for. Drag this way. Used to watch so many movies in the old days. 
Now I couldn't name a single one. <laughs> Trail lines here. Memories on top of our humanity. Who had the keys to the shed? Me and my husband. Nobody else? You sure? There's no sign of forced entry, Anna. Whoever took the flower had the keys. We made copies. So you do think it was me? It's not out of the question. I thought at least you would believe me. What next? How do I return something I haven't taken? You can't draw blood from a stone. Calm down and think. Who else would do this, and why? Help me help you. Unless Teresa's right after all. Hard to tell. Someone from the bazaar, perhaps? There's Dodger. That guy's capable of anything. And then there's Benny, Teresa's son. And that's all I can come up with. Who's this Dodger you mentioned? He's a snake, that's why. One of the shadiest characters in the bazaar. Come to think of it, he took an interest in Teresa's grain harvest recently. Asked a lot of questions. Never paid any mind before. I should talk to him. You'll find him at the bazaar, but watch your back. He doesn't give a rat's ass about people, just money. What about Teresa's son? Why would he do this? Normally, I wouldn't suspect him. Nice kid. I've known him all his life. He's like a son to me. But lately, he's been quiet, like he's got something to hide. And maybe he does. But no, Benny wouldn't have done this. It would break Teresa's heart, and he knows it. And even if he had taken the flower, why? That seems to be the central question for everyone involved. Where can I find Benny? Not sure. He's been making himself pretty scarce. That said, I'm sure Teresa's got him guarding their storehouses. Make sure what meager goods they have left are safe. I'll look for him. Since you helped my husband, I'll share a secret with you. The storehouses are full of traps. So be careful. My shed has nothing of the sort, which is probably why it was so easy to steal from. And as for Benny, Teresa keeps close tabs on her son. Ask her. Can you tell me where you were the night the flower was stolen? At home with my husband. There's not much more to say. And not much more, or nothing? Nothing. I was home with my husband. End of story. Accusations are devastating enough around here. I'm ruined. And not if we find the flower and prove it was someone else. Perhaps. But in my experience, the damage has been done. Maybe, maybe not. Let's see what I can find out. At least you believe me. Thank you for that. Fuck me. People will always complain. We're alive, <laughs> and that's what counts. Thank you. 
haven't seen my kids there. Dodger? Well, well. The pilgrim himself. Here's a piece of advice. The next time you offer someone water, ask if they're thirsty first. What's your problem? My problem is a whole tank of agua fresca that nobody wants to buy anymore. Just want to ask you a few questions. Are you shitting me? Do I look like an information booth? I've got a business to run here. You don't have business? Then get out of my face. Teresa's flower was stolen, and I want to find out who did it. Teresa's flower was... what the fuck? Okay, you've got my attention. What do you know about a woman named Anna? What, the one who works for Teresa? Not all that much. Her husband sometimes sits in on our card games. He never said boo about her. Not even a few pints in. That says something right there. You know where Benny might be? Do I look like his mother? Believe me, he's on top of my where are they now list. He went down in flames in our last card game. He almost literally bet the farm. And lost. So if you're looking for that flower, it's not Teresa's or Benny's no more. It's mine. The kid owed it to me. And if it's missing, it was stolen from me. Aha. Uh -huh. So Benny's in your debt. Big time. Up to his ears, you might say. In flower. You think he stole it? Could be. He's a dumb kid who might think that will stop me from trying to collect. I need to find him then. Ask Mother Teresa. She's usually got the boy on a short leash. Except for poker nights, clearly. So now you know I have the most skin in this game. If that flower isn't found, I am the big loser. So maybe check out Teresa's storehouses. Hmm, seems like just the place a dumb kid like Benny would think he could hide. And if you do get your hands on the flower, just kindly bring it straight to me. I'll pay you handsomely for the service, of course. But it will save everyone a lot of grief, and... Hey, I get my flower. We can put this behind us. I keep telling everyone we should be getting ready for winter. He proved himself at the water town, don't you think? I wouldn't be so sure. Sincerity. Now you're just making wild you milk assumptions. The goats? They think they have some kind of other disease. They won't let you near them. <sighs> That's bad. And your hand. Is everything all right? I can hear you a mile away. None of your business! Sorry about her. Save your sorry for Theodore. You better find him right now or else. Monica, maybe this is for the better. You don't get to tell me what's better. But I'm telling you, you better get Theodore out of there. Come on. Do you really want that? You think life is hell on Earth now? You wait and see how I make you feel if Theodore comes to any harm. So then, what happened that might be better this way? Yeah, tell him, Will. I... I couldn't watch. 
This brute hooking up with my sister and... Will, Lord Theodore, in a dark zone. And now he'll fucking go and get him out! Monica, wait. You're a pilgrim, right? That place is soaked with chemicals. Hell, Theodore's probably dead already. You want me dead too? Even if I manage to find him, the asshole will just kill me. Pilgrim, would you... Would you get that jerk out of there, please? Mavic, you just said if he makes it out, he'll kill you. I have no choice. Look, there's more. I'm pregnant. I found out this morning. Theo doesn't know yet. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I'll see what I can do. He lives in an apartment on Old Shambles Street, about 200 meters north of here. Theodore should be on the first floor. Wait until nighttime. It'll be easier for you. Hopefully he's holed up somewhere away from the biters. And one more thing. I love Theodore, you know, but he really can be dangerous. Be careful. floor doesn't look safe. Maybe there's another way. Pretty empty as warehouses go. Must have been seeing ghosts. Shouldn't be here, mate. How'd you get in? You're Benny, right? We need to talk. I don't like this. Dodger sent you, did he? Tell him I'm pulling together what I owe him. I'm just... I just haven't got it yet. Hold up, Benny. So you're saying you're in debt to Dodger? Dodger hasn't sent you. No. How much do you owe him? Only you had a reason to steal the flower. You bastard! Do you think that just because you turn on the water, you got free run of the place? Tell me I'm wrong. I ain't telling you nothing. <sighs> Benny!
escape now. <sighs> Ah! <laughs> 